Hi and welcome to another video from Effective Dashboards. In this video we will be looking at the switch statement and how you can use it to replace an if statement. So this is a file that's a dashboard that I've created, a batlog analysis dashboard. So batlog is a, a concept in work orders and in maintenance work orders, but the concept can be applied to anything really. I've created this dashboard. If you want to create a dashboard like this, I've got a free course. I'll leave a link underneath and you can be welcome to try that out. So let's start by looking at how we're going to use this if statement. So I've created a slicer here and this slicer is looking at different categories. So safety, environmental, production and routine. So these are categories of work orders. And just now we have a work order work type, if I can get to work order criticality. So we've got this value here and it's a numeric value. So I've added that value in here to the slicer. One, two, three, and four. Now I know, and some people might know, who are used to using this dashboard, that one is safety, two is environmental, three is production, and four is routine. However, we want to be more explicit, and we want to actually replace these values here with a description. So we want to replace it with actual descriptions. So how do we do that? So let's go and add a new calculated column into our model and we're going to use the, if, the switch statement. Now we could use an if statement, but I'm going to show you how we use a switch statement and I'm going to explain why it can sometimes be easier to use that switch statement rather than an if statement. So we're going to call this one work critic. Okay, and we'll just expand the, the the area here that we can type in. So we're going to use switch, and if we just talk about the the syntax of the switch statement, so the first thing it's going to ask for is an expression. So that expression in this example here is going to be a field value. So it's in a calculated column. So that field value is going to always be a, a single value. Now you can use a switch expression in a a measure, in which case you need to define it slightly differently because it's going to be um, from a table, a, a, a table that's going to be calculated in most instances. But in a column, Dax knows that it can only be one, one value and it's in this column. So let's go for the work criticality. It is there. So that's the expression. So the expression is going to be work criticality and that's going to be a value, a numeric value. And we are going to take that value and the next thing we have is the for each expression or for the expression we've got a value and a result and we can see that these three dots here mean that this is multiple values and multiple results so we can feed in multiple combinations of values and results. So let's start off with the first one. So if the value is 1 then we want the result to be Safety. Okay, so as you can see, it's moved across and now it's got value 2. So we'll put a comma in here. If the value is 2, we want the result to be in vital. Comma, and then we'll put in the other three values as well. Okay, so I've done that. And then the final value that it's going to ask for is an else. So if you don't put a value in here, it'll just be blank, but we can put an else, and I like to just put a, a final value in here just to check that we haven't missed anything. So that is going to be other. And it's as simple as that. Now we're going to go over this value here, and I am going to click on OK here. So we've got a value, and we're going to switch it for another value. So we've now got this work criticality. I'm going to click on the slicer and I am going to add in the work criticality description instead of the work criticality. So let's get rid of that. Now we can see it's got environment, envido, production, routine and safety. Now what's happened here is the default is now to sort this alphabetically. So the, the 1, 2, 3, 4, the default was to sort the number uh, 
one, two, three, four, numerically, but now it's alphabetically. So we've got to do one final thing, and we go into the work credit color description that we just created, and up here, and I have another video that explains this, but I'll just explain it very quickly here as well. I'll put a link underneath. So we go in here and we're going to sort this field here, which is work criticality description, by the work criticality. So you can nominate a different field when it comes to sorting a, f a field in, a, in a, um, a column. So now we've done that and we can see this is sorted automatically. Safety, environment, production and routine. So that's the first example. I'm going to cut another video with a second example, but that's the first example of how you can use a switch statement to replace an if statement. If you liked this video and found it useful, then it would be great and I would appreciate it a lot if you could press the, the thumbs up and like it. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos that I release, normally about once a week, then click on the subscribe button. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.